Hey guys, it's Dwayne here from Dewey HQ, and today I'm in a different sort of setup. As you can see, I've got the face cam today, but I wanted to get into the Persona news. Now, it's been a while since I've posted, and Atlas has absolutely been smashing out the Persona stuff. Like, they have not stopped, it's ridiculous. And we've got an entire information blowout on Persona 5 Royal, and the new gameplay of Persona 5 Strikers which honestly looks way better than I expected. And it has been a while since I've posted, but there's been a new addition into my family that I want to kind of show to you guys. So give me two seconds. And the new addition to our family is Casper here. Say hi. But obviously I've been spending a lot of time with him and you know, training him up from a puppy. And it looks like he's ready to go snoozies again. So I'm going to put him back to bed. And aside from that, I went to the 2019 packs. I don't know if you guys knew that I went to the 2018 packs. I didn't, don't think I really posted anything about that, but besides the point. Today, I want to take the opportunity of talking about what's happening in the thumbnail. Now, if you've clicked because of it, I just kind of want to hammer home the point about Royal's upcoming Japanese release. Don't spoil the game for others. Just don't. If you want to check out the game early, that's fair game. Go on ahead and check it out. Although, I kind of doubt you'll understand anything that's going on there. I don't, I can barely understand what's going on in the trailers. But I'd recommend if you play, if you're going to be playing it, avoid all the spoilers you can. It's so much better to go in fresh. This time around, I believe it's going to be even harder to avoid spoilers in comparison to Persona 5, the original. Since Persona 5 pushed the series into the mainstream, so to speak. Hell, I wasn't even aware that the series existed until I started watching Persona 4, the anime, back in like 2014. And since Persona 5 was released, a lot more fans have kind of jumped on the series. But don't get me wrong, it's awesome that so many other people have gotten the enjoyment out of the series. But with that many eyes on the game, there's a much greater chance of getting spoiled, unfortunately. So in summary, don't spoil Royal. Regardless, that wasn't the only reason I wanted to make today's video. I briefly wanted to talk about all the new information that's actually come out over the last few weeks and share my opinion on these pre-release content. In regards to PV3, it looks like this was showing a lot more of the late game content revolving around Kazumi and the January Palace, along with Akechi teaming up the Thieves after showing his true colours. There's not much more to go on here apart from that Akechi will be joining the team afterwards and that this new dungeon seems to take place in the January to February period. The My Palace feature is actually quite new and interesting. It seems that you'll be able to create your own custom, I would call it a club room, where other players can come and visit and see how you've customized it. I'm not exactly sure what this is going to do, whether it's got a dungeon exploration element to it, but it seems that you can pick any of the playable characters, including the party members, to run around this area with. I'm keen to check out the extents of this mode once it comes out. During an Atlas stream, they showcased the new prologue. This event plays out quite similar to the original, however the change is when Joker runs into Kazumi as he's trying to escape. The drastic change is that the player gets to do a short battle alongside Kazumi before she auto knocks the enemy with her persona and ending in an all out attack. It'll be interesting to see if she joins the party before the end of this dungeon or if this is her first metaverse appearance. In the most recent Morgana report, some new interesting DLC was showcased from the challenge battles. Players can purchase a special DLC which allows Joker to go up against both the protagonists from Persona 3 and Persona 4, Makoto with Thanatos, and you with Izanagi. Alongside this, the game looks to be getting new DLC outfits in the form of Dancing in Starlo and the Persona Q2 chibi forms. And then wrapping this all up, Atlas dropped a new trailer for Persona 5S, which it looks to be a Dynasty Warriors styled game featuring the Persona team. However, to everyone's surprise, the newest trailer seems to showcase a load of story elements, including sections that can even be free roamed around Tokyo. The game has been stated to take place at least six months after the original ending of the game, over the summer break period. It's currently unknown if it's based off the original story or royal, but due to the lack of Akechi and Kazumi in the trailers, many believe that it might be just a spin-off sequel. P5S also features its own original character who seems to be called Sophie. The mysterious events taking place seem to revolve around this new character. Along with the new story elements and killer art, I'm quite keen to see what this game has to offer. And since Royal is due to release in Japan this week, and the Strikers release date has been set for the 20th of the 2nd, 2020, it's still going to be quite a fair amount of time before both games release here in English. Although in a recent Game Informer article, 
The character designer Sojima advised that the game would be re actually released in March 2020 for Europe and America. This is probably an accurate time frame and I wouldn't expect the game to release any later than April. Regarding Strikers, it's presumably a much smaller game and less text heavy. So I'd assume that the translation period would take maybe three to four months and it'd probably release around maybe the May or June period, lining up with the US summer matching the game's theme. The Persona franchise just seems to be getting bigger and bigger, which is great, and I hope that it leads to more quality games for all of us to enjoy. Perhaps some reimaginings of 1 and 2 are in the works, or perhaps even some HD remasters of Persona 3 and 4. In the coming weeks, I won't be focused on too much Persona stuff, unless it involves the English release, such as a release date or special editions. But I will be working on a new series in regards to Pokemon Sword and Shield, so if you're a Pokemon fan, be sure to keep an eye out for that. Regardless, you can expect a Persona 5 Royal Let's Play once the game comes out in English. But until then, it was Dwayne here from Dewey HQ, signing out. See you guys.